Hello guys, my name is Diego Pacheco and this is going to be another Java video. So this is going to be the third video about Mina. I want to show some interesting capability, actually not in Mina, but like how we can do some sort of a network debugging with a TCP dump and Wireshark. So I highly recommend you watch the first two videos, all right? So because on this one, I will not cover uh, Mina in details. It will be more like about like the network debugging or network uh, troubleshooting. So let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to open my project here. This will be based on a TCP project rather than on the SSL one. And um, what we're going to do is to debug this and see what's going on under the network, right? So I'm going to um, run this project. We can either run the server or I also have um, a script that can run it. So um, let's use the script. And um, after the script, uh, we're going to do uh, a TCP dump, right? So, okay, so we have the TCP server up and running. We can even test uh, with a telnet. Um, let's try this. Oops. Okay, it's working. Um, now to quit, I actually need to do this script. Okay, it's over. Right, <clears throat> so let's do some enters here. All right, now we're gonna do a TCP dump. So on the README, I, I have the command here so you guys uh, can copy from there. But basically what this comment gonna do is it's gonna be listening to all uh, network traffic on the port 9000 and this is gonna saving on the file that I'm called server PCAT. And, and this is important because with that, we're gonna be able to um, to open this on Wireshark, all right? So let me run um, the TCP dump. Okay, TCP dump is up and running. Um, so I'm gonna start the server again, right? And, uh, oh, sorry, it's already takes some time. And uh, meanwhile, let me put the TCP dump here. Here you're gonna have the server, right? And, oh, it takes some time. Sometimes, you know, it uh, It takes some time to release the... Let me just see if uh, we have anything at this. Um, this is another thing you can do to see if that port is open. You can do a netstat minus NLP grep and then the port, right? So, yeah, it, it should it should be able to um, kind of uh, start the server again. Um, yeah. Up and running, and now um, if we do uh, net stat means NLP, we can see that actually we have something listening on that part, right? So that's that's one of the things you can do for network troubleshooting. But now that we have the TCP dump rolling, right, and we have the server, let's do a telnet for with the client, right, and um, let's ask for some stuff like time. I'm gonna ask for time again. Uh, then I want to ask for options. Then I want to do time again. And I'm going to quit now. So there we go. Okay. <clears throat> now I can stop the TCP dump. And you're going to see that we have a file here. We have the server.pcat, uh, right? And I'm going to copy this address here. And I'm going to open this on my Wireshark. So with Wireshark... I can open that file, right? So I'm gonna paste it here. Um, server pcat, there you go. And here we can see um, the, the network exchange, right? So we can see uh, the protocol, uh, we clearly were using TCP and um, you need to look the info, right? So every time you see 9,000, 9,000 is the client and um, the 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 server uh is on this like a uh, random part right so you can see here at the end um we have uh, a fin request right uh from 9000 to this number this number is the random part of my server right and the fin means okay we're going to end the tcp connection right so there's three exchanges to to end it right so but the fin originates from the client right um the client asks to to finish that and then um we have um we have this um sorry 
uh, is the other way around. 9,000 is the server and this is the client, right? So in this way, all the clients connect to 9,000, then they redirect to another port and then they can be talking to that port, right? So server is listening to 9,000, but the client is operating on uh, 35, whatever. So here we can see that the server actually ends the connection, right? Because the client was asking uh, with a quit message to end the connection. And then we have a fin and then, you know, uh, is Eket um, finally here, right? So the, um, the server asked to, to finish this. And um, you might say, okay, but um, every time you click here, you also can see the message, right? Like here, you can see there was a date response going on. If I keep clicking um, here, there was another date response. Uh, here's an options here, uh, time again, date response, right? But there's a very cool feature here, uh, which is um, you can click anywhere and then you can follow TCP string. And then this will show you client and server exchanges in like a, a consolidated timeline, right? So for instance, um, if, if I go here, I can say, okay, so let me see just the server, right? So the server is returning date response and it um, highlight here as well, right? So let me put it this way. Uh, here again, you can see when, when it happens and then options and then date response again and then buy, right? Um, if I go here, here is like the, the client, right? So the client asks for time, the client asks for time, the client asks for options, the, uh, the client asks for time and quit. And uh, if we go here, we can see the entire conversation. Right? So this is really good to see what's going on between the client and the server and who ends the connection, right? So this is a pretty useful uh, tool for debugging. So that's it for today's guys. Uh, I hope you will like it. See you next time. Take care. Cheers.